Before we jump into the video today, I just want you all to know that I've created a brand new channel. It's an analog horror channel focused on Lovecraftian horror. So if you dig that sort of thing and you need a good scare, check it out. It's basically Black Hole Month for Science Get, following the massive announcement we just got about the Milky Way Galaxy Supermassive Black Hole, which we did a video on last Saturday, which you can check out by following the link in the description. We're going to take a look at a surprising new black hole find that you might not have heard about with all the noise surrounding Sagittarius A. I'm Eric Malachite, and today on Science Get, we're going to be talking about a black hole whose magnetic field might have flipped right before our eyes. Supermassive black holes have powerful magnetic fields that are typically measured between 1 and 30 Gauss. This is about 50 times the strength of Earth's magnetic field. Back in March of last year, the Event Horizon Telescope revealed that they had managed to image direct evidence of M87's magnetic field utilizing polarized light. The idea up until this point has been that imaging this field would be key going forward in understanding how M87's relativistic jets are formed. However, what we're talking about today is a supermassive black hole located in the galaxy 1ES 1927 plus 654. Astronomers who were observing X-ray emissions over the course of several months noticed that those emissions completely stopped. But what exactly does that mean? Well, one theory is that the supermassive black hole's magnetic field actually flipped. So a couple of questions that we want to ask today in this episode. A, what does this say about the mechanics surrounding black holes? And B, what would happen if our own supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star, experienced its own magnetic flip? It's currently thought that almost all galaxies, including our own, have a supermassive black hole at their center. These behemoths are the entire reason why galaxies are able to form in the first place. But they can be a double-edged sword, so to speak, in that if they become AGN, active galactic nuclei, the powerful radiation they emit can threaten the lifespan of the galaxy itself. Black holes like this are always pulling matter toward their centers, and that matter collects in an accretion disk like the one seen in the original image of the M87 supermassive black hole, and now Sagittarius A. I love being able to say that. It's awesome. The matter in this disk heats up and starts glowing in visible wavelengths, but it also glows in ultraviolet and X-ray wavelengths as well. In the case of Galaxy 1ES 1927 plus 654, the study suggests that an extremely hot cloud of particles would have formed as the matter in the accretion disk was being pulled toward the black hole. This cloud at this time is being called a corona, not to be confused with the beer, the part of the sun by the same name, or the demonetization virus. And it's thought that some kind of change must have happened to that corona in order to cause it to disappear. We observe magnetic reversals in our sun regularly, and we have a lot of supporting evidence that Earth's magnetic field also flips periodically. And while the magnetic reversal of Earth's poles has some supporting evidence that such an event could be catastrophic for life on the surface, the Sun experiences a magnetic field flip fairly regularly without life on our planet ever batting an eye. Well, unless that life happens to have the ability to point a telescope at it. The same may be true of such a supermassive black hole flip. Interestingly enough, a magnetic reversal would most likely have caused both the invisible and visible light to brighten due to the increased levels of heat. The corona, however, would absolutely have disappeared, albeit temporarily. This is because it's thought that the accretion disk would have become more compact around the black hole. Furthermore, just like Earth's magnetic field is thought to weaken during the process of a pole reversal, the same thing would have happened with this black hole. And that would have caused the corona to completely disappear, just like the astronomers observed. Astronomers used two space telescopes to track these changes, NASA's Neil Garrell Swift Observatory and the ESA's XMM Newton satellite while ground-based radio telescopes were used to track the supermassive black hole's radio emissions. While the paper with these findings is yet to be released, it has been accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal, and it's available for you to read right now on preprint at arxiv.org. That's all I've got for you today. But if you dug this content, be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and share this video with someone who loves space and black holes. And be sure to check out my new Lovecraftian analog horror project titled The Office of Extra Dimensional Intelligence. The first video should be out now for you to watch. 
linked in the description and the pinned comment. Pro tip, turn off all the lights first and wear headphones. And hey, check out all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy.